nods and in and out two iconic American brands celebrating their 70th anniversaries together in Pomona at the Auto Club Raceway recently. Burgers and burnouts were on the menu, the perfect pairing to in and out CEO Lindsay Snyder, like fries and a cheeseburger. I don't think we would do this with anyone else, and it is a huge part of who in and out is. There's a little bit of bias because we're car lovers. That car loving family founded in and out. Her grandparents, Harry and Esther Snyder, opened the first in and out in Baldwin Park in 1948. It became a hangout for hot rod drivers since the locations were strategic strategically placed off of popular highways throughout Southern California. Apart from her love for her family's business, Lindsay also has another passion, cars. In fact, these two beauties are hers. Lindsay's love for hot rods came from her father, Guy Snyder. Guy died in 1999 from a prescription drug overdose when Lindsay was just 17. They held his memorial at the Pomona Raceway. I walked out to the lanes and I stood there and I like looked down the lanes and I shed a few tears and I said, I'll be back, I'll be here. Like I, I like made this declaration that I was gonna race here. And she did a few years later. Lindsay has won multiple races, always in her father's honor. It's definitely emotional for me. Like anytime there's a win, really, um, I, I wish he was there. Tragedy had struck Lindsay's family years before her father passed. Her uncle, Rich Snyder, had died in a plane crash. So with both her father and uncle gone, Lindsay became the sole heir of the burger chain's empire. On her 35th birthday, she acquired most of the chain's remaining shares. The inheritance makes her one of the youngest female billionaires in the country. And she has changed very little since taking control, including the menu fans keep coming back for. Why do you think it's so beloved? There's a lot of loyal fans, but I think we're a loyal company. They are loyal to never using microwaves, freezers, or heat lamps as well. To make that possible and to keep costs down, all their locations are close to distribution centers. And if you're hoping an in and out pops up in your neighborhood, the company has intentionally expanded slowly and methodically. My uncle always said, you know, we will grow, but we grow with the people. You know, if we don't have the right people to do the job, then right. we're not going to just build a bunch of stores. But Lindsay's people love her. Her 26,000 employees give her a 99% approval rating on Glassdoor.com, the job review site. An in and out employee makes an average of $13 an hour, well above the norm in other fast food chains of around $9, and managers can make six figures. I don't do this alone. I do this with an amazing team. So, you know, that Glassdoor rating does not point to me. It points to a team of people. The question many ask Lindsay, are you going to sell? Uh, no. <laughs> that would be a big no. <laughs> Selling would not be an option and I wouldn't franchise ever. So hot rods and burger fans have nothing to fear. The drive throughs in 2018 will continue to pay homage to their roots from 1948. And as for Lindsay's perfect burger and burnout pairing? 1966 Chevelle with a blown engine and a double meat, extra spread, pickled chopped chilies only. Oh. Right? It's an off, that's an off menu order. Yeah. I guess you can do that when, when you own the, the place. When you're the CEO, yeah. <laughs> uh, and I actually met somebody this past weekend who gets a triple triple. I didn't even mm. know that existed, but I'm gonna order one.